Hello, I'd like to show you how to add some music to SoundCloud and then embed it in your website. My school district does not want me to share student recordings with any link to their name. Um, I have to keep it all very private. So I don't want students going on SoundCloud necessarily since I teach elementary. There's a lot of music on there that wouldn't be appropriate for them and it's not my job to expose them to it. However, I like to use SoundCloud to share music and I can show you exactly how to do that. Right now I have logged into SoundCloud. You can see some of the different songs that we have put in here. And um, notice that they are all marked private. That is intentional. That's an important thing to do. Now what I would like to do is add a new track and then show you how to put it into my website. So I'm going to go to Upload. And it's very simple. You can literally just drag and drop it. And I saved this as the Kazen Chelsea Dagger sample. I'm going to drop that right in there. I can add an image if I would like to. Um, I am going to write in fourth grade as my tag. It requires at least one. And you can write a quick description as well. We learned and recorded the goal song of, I could type clearly, that would help, of the Chicago Black Hawks. Now down at the bottom I want to click this as private. I don't want people to come to SoundCloud looking for it. I want them to come to my website looking for it. So I'm going to click Save and it's really it's already uploaded which is wonderful. So here it is. It's private so that basically means right now no one can see it but me. I can press play and listen to it. Three, four, And it has used my default picture from my classroom. No images of children whatsoever. Now there are a few more things I'd like to do here. So I'm going to click on the edit. And I want to get a little more in depth this time. This takes me back to where it first brought me when I uploaded it. Um, you can look at metadata here. Um, this is if it's all rights reserved, if this is from a record that you've produced and you sell. Um, none of this applies to me. Um, this is just our classroom work. We're not selling it, nothing like that. In permissions, here we have a few other things. I don't want anyone to embed this except me. So I'm going to take that option off. I would like to have them be able to play this back from my website, not just on uh, SoundCloud, but I want them to be able to hear it when I embed it. The next thing I like to do is enable downloads. Um, this, since this is class work, it's fine. Um, if I was recording using a background track that is not mine, I would say this is a very iffy thing to do. I would not recommend it. But since this is our own arrangement, this is just a snippet of it, I'm going to en enable downloads. Can, kids can download it and um, add it to their own iPods, iPhones, or their parents' computer. Last thing I want to do is save the changes. All right, now I'm going to go back here. And I would like to, I'm actually going to click down here and go back to this screen. Now what I'd like to do is embed it into my website. So if I click the share button at the bottom, it brings up private share here. I want to click on embed. Um, and this is how it will look on my website. So all I need to do is copy this code. I do not understand coding. I will not pretend to. I just copy it. And then I'm going to go to my website. I will open it up. And here it is. I'm going to go to my fourth grade page. I use Wix for my website. Um, I find that it works best for me. And we're just going to get rid of these since that's happened. I can just update it. But I might save this box because it looks nice. I'm going to add, I'm going to add media, SoundCloud audio. And Wix is wonderful because it's happy to work with SoundCloud. It makes it very simple. All I have to do in settings is enter the embed code. Update. And there it is. So now I can reshape my box to make it look a little bit fancier. 
and there's our Chelsea dagger. I can save it. And now when students go to my website, all they need to do is click this download button. So if I go to preview, here it is. They can click the download button and it will automatically drop it in and download it. Now I've done this on several of my pages. These are my fifth graders. We've done GarageBand projects and I have discussions that we've had in class and then a whole series of their music doing exactly this. They cannot find these songs on SoundCloud. They have to come to my website, which is a safe place for them to go, but they can still download it and listen to it. The one thing we like to do on SoundCloud is when they're in class and we listen to it and we give feedback, I can write a comment in here. Something like we are all playing together. It sounds great. And that's from the Durst class. And I can save that and it will it will mark where where we were in the song when that happened. So that is a simple way to just keep this music private and really have this as a place to collect your music rather than share it, distribute it, and have kids on SoundCloud themselves. Oh.